Both teams are lining up for the kickoff. We're just about set to get this one underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Boise State staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, I, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. That's good for a gain of nine yards. Brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Four down, four down. Mike seven, Mike seven. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. First down pickup by the tailback. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms. Taken down at the 40-yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He's got it with room to run. Knocked out of bounds around the 32-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. First down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Seven's the mic. Go! There's a strike complete. He's down. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. And this play is number eight on the drive. Four down, four down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Go, go. Here's a run up the gut, but nothing going there. And that play was snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. It's a delayed handoff to the tailback, and the defense wasn't fooled at all there. They're about four yards away here on third down. He's hit before he can go anywhere. That's a gain of six on the play. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Four down, four down. Seven to Mike, Mike seven. He's knocked out of bounds around the 17 yard line. That's a gain of two. That makes it second and eight. throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And he's taken down around the 13-yard line. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. Boise State is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. They 
takes it out to about the 36. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. Mike 13, Mike 13. Cut. Break out. 794. Catches it, and that's all. He ran a good looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in and pay off. gets rid of this one. So that'll make it fourth down. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He takes it at the 12. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and now huddle up for this drive. Boise State holds a field goal lead. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled right around the 34. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball in 34. Check, check, check. Makes the catch and look out. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. Brought down right around the 20. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From the 20 yard line, first down. Boise State is up a field goal. And he is drilled at the 17. We've played one quarter. The Broncos lead 3-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Four down, four down. Seven's the mic. Two, go. Two, four, seven. Two, three. Tackle around the 16-yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. They'll line it up again on third down. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. This is the ninth play of this drive. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That brings him second and goal. They're at the two. 
It's second down. They line up in the jumbo set. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. He makes the PAT, a 10-play, 71-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. And a quick throw. to the receiver and he can't make the grab. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. Mike 13, Mike 13. From their own 35-yard line, second down. Gets to about the 37-yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Short over the middle. They'll bring him down at about the 39-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That'll make it fourth and six. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. And this one is a beauty. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he's going to be sacked. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Loose football, and the quarterback comes in and scoops up the fumble. Touchdown, Falcons. Great play here by the defender. You know, it's trickier than it looks to scoop up a loose ball and then get your motor started. But he's able to do it and made that play look smooth for the touchdown. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he tacks on the extra point. Bowling Green gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos, over the years, have had great quarterbacks. They've got another one. He's proving to be that here in the first half, and he's the true leader of this group right now. Leadership. You, you hit the nail right on the head. This team is, is moving the football, but it has everything to do with this young man and what he's been able to do for them. Because, it's, again, he's making great throws. Uh, he's, he's making good checks in line of scrimmage. But the thing that's standing out to me is his leadership and the way this team responds to that leadership. And that's why this team right now has played as well as they have. So the sack makes this a second and long. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And they make the stop at the 23-yard line. That brings up third and 12. 
Boise State is up by three. Here comes the pressure. He goes out of bounds at about the 35. That makes it fourth and inches. Booming kick. And he has it on the corner. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Fires out to his receiver, and down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. From the 48-yard line, second down. Makes the grab past the marker. That makes it first and ten. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Complete and taken down immediately. They come out in a five wide set. Caught, and that's a first down. Tackle made at the 26. Makes the grab and steps out right away. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. out to about the nine yard line maybe a yard on that draw play it's the ninth play of the drive bowling green's gonna have to use their second time out of the half he gets rid of this one you know when you feel pressure like that the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage he got away with one right there he's very fortunate next time he should just throw it away out of bounds Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. Touchdown, Bowling Green! He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice 10 play, 74 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boise State's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen, but, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this through the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. And you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. I love the toughness here by this quarterback. 
sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. And he's immediately tackled. The Broncos use their second timeout. with room to run, out of bounds, right around the 50. That's, That's good, good for a gain of eight yards. yards. That'll bring second down, and they're gonna need about three yards to pick up the first down. Mike seven, Mike seven. I go, 164. He rifles it to the left. And he's taken down around the 22-yard line. Throws right, intercepted. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. First down. They've got their backs against the wall. They come out in a goal line set. Bowling Green holds a four-point lead. First half of action, and we're hoping for more of the same. 14-10, Bowling Green. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show, presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here, completely locked in on that first half. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards, very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. Yeah. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's, the, that's the conundrum you get in. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works. And it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs. And you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long. You're in a perfect situation. You give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game. So I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Bowling Green is up four. Makes it out to about the 33. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. They come out in an empty backfield. Number 
quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. There's a strike complete. to about the 34-yard line. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. And he's tackled right around the 34. Gets it, he's in space. He's knocked out of bounds at the 24. That was actually pretty good defense, but a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. Bowling Green is up by four. Caught him, but they're gonna lose yards. He was tackled immediately. That's a two yard loss. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Second and 12. And this is the tenth play of the drive. The senior makes the catch, and he tackles him hard at the 16-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. They'll get him for a loss. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Falcons continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Right, right, right. Four down, four down. I'm coming, 16. I'm coming, 16. Has it to the senior. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. First, First down. down. Seven's a mic. Quad, quad, quad. I'm coming for you, 27. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. I just crunched out. Right at it. Check, check, check. Here go. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They go right, and he's tackled behind the line. From their own 35-yard line, third down. Tackle at the 49, and they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. It's easy to forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line, but you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First and 10, ball on the 38-yard line. Down around the 37 yard line. That brings up second and nine. This is the eighth play of this drive. They'll 
That'll bring him down at the 28. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want none. They don't want none of this. That'll bring up third and inches. They'll line it up again on third down. He's hit and taken down. Here's play number 10 on the drive. And he is drilled at the 27-yard line. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Oh, Jay, punt, seven to Mike. Come on, 37, get high now. Take a go. Over the middle, there's tailback. And they make the stop at the 18-yard line. Gain of nine on the play. That's three down and one to go. The Falcons with a touchdown lead. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Three down, three down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Go, go. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's level at the nine. With the catch. Number 11 brings him down. 13th play of the drive coming up. That makes it first and goal. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. They're at the seven. It's second down. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. These guys don't get tense down by the end zone. Sometimes a young quarterback will make a silly mistake, or a receiver will come down with a case of stone hands. But not with this group. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. Boise State kicked this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here, the defensive linemen did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Here comes the pressure. Throws it in a hurry. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Quickly to the tight end, and he hits him hard at the 45-yard line. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. The defense was all over that draw play. They got very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. From their own 42-yard line, third down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. First down grab by the receiver. That's a great tackle at the 28-yard line. Oh, 
Pulls it in, and he could score. Tackle made at the 16. From the 19 yard line. Second down. He's on the run. He decides to run with it. Just under three to go in regulation. Touchdown, Falcons! He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boise State's ranking, that doesn't mean anything right now. Now, they've not played up to their expectations at all, but they have the football here late in the game. They're very fortunate to still have a chance to maybe win it because they've not looked like themselves. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's taken down at the 37. Number 24 makes the tackle. The 37 yard line. From their own 37 yard line. First down. Here's the halfback, and he's brought down hard behind the line. No game. A second and ten. Ten. see what the offensive coordinators come up with and this quarterback needs a conversion here just over two minutes in the game here's a screen pass gets it to the back and they push him out at the 35 So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Sacked, and they'll turn it over. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. When you're a quarterback and you start this close to the end zone, your eyes just light up when you take the field. Conversely, the defense is thinking, uh-oh, we can't let him get another one so quickly. And he's taken down at the 12-yard line. The Broncos will use their first time out of the half. From the 12-yard line, it's first down. He's tackled right around the four-yard line. Boise State will have one timeout remaining. Touchdown, Bowling Green! the uprights with the extra point with a three-play 28-yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard 
The score now, 31-17. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Complete. He's got room. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. That brings him second and five. The spike will stop the clock. That'll make it third and five. From their own 30-yard line. It's third down. Mike seven. Mike seven. Go. He guns it to the left. Tipped away. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. The defender made a solid effort to get to the ball there. Nice stop. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. From the 21-yard line, first down. Hands it to the back. Nice run to the outside. Gets the first down there with a five-yard carry. Again, they go with the halfback here. And again, he picks up some positive yardage and a first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. This one's in the books. The Falcons come out on top, 31-17. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.